Hi. In the previous video series, I explained how to control a COMSO model from MATLAB. I also mentioned that sometimes when you change the parameters in your MATLAB model, it is very likely that you assign wrong boundary conditions to wrong boundaries. So in this video, we will see how to solve this issue. But first, I like to describe this problem a little bit more in detail such that everyone can understand what the problem is. So here I have a 2D axis symmetry model. It's an electrostatic model. The outer box is filled, fixed. We have two electrodes inside this, the top electrode, the lower electrode. Actually, every parameters related to this geometry is fixed except the width of the top electrode and the width of the lower electrode. So the width of the top electrode is R1. So here I have made two parameters, R1 and R2. The top one is R1, the lower one is R2. And in this case, it's 1.5 and the second one is 0.5. Now the top electrode get electric potential and the lower electrode will get the ground. If I click on electric potential, we see that boundaries number 7, 8, 9, 11, they have electric potential. And boundary 4, 5, 6, 10, they have ground. Now if I save this model as MATLAB file and use this uh, to create my generalized MATLAB code, um, what happens is that, as you can see here, I have already saved it in a MATLAB file. So these are the parameters and we make the geometry and here we assign the boundaries. 7, 8, 9, 11, we assign voltage to that. And the other one we assign ground. Now the problem is, let's say I come to COMSO model and I change the values of these parameters. So here we have 0 0.5, here I have, let's say 1. And if I build this geometry, obviously the top one is smaller now, the lower one has larger width. But if I click on, on boundary condition and on electric potential, we can see that boundary number 7, 8, 9, 10 gets electric potential and those boundaries should actually get electric potential. Now in COMSOL, in graphical interface of COMSOL, basically it is clever enough that even though now the boundaries, the, the numbering of boundaries is different here, before it was 11, now it's 10, it still it's, it assigns the correct boundary condition to the, to the correct boundaries. If we change the geometry too much, even in graphical interface, even in COMSOL, we will have issue and basically um, boundaries will be assigned, conditions will be assigned to wrong boundaries. But now if we look at our MATLAB code, we here we explicitly mentioned that we want to assign voltage to boundary 7, 8, 9, 11. Now if I change the parameter in my MATLAB code, what happens is that, um, let me I run this. And I use, now the server is busy. Now I use here to connect to the model. Of course, this is the new parameters, but if I go to boundary conditions, we can see that electric potential, of course, is applied to boundary 7, 8, 9, 11. But the boundary number 11 is now here in this new uh, configuration which is obviously something uh, that we don't want. We want it to have potential on the top electrode and ground on the lower electrode. So this is the problem that you, you will face when making your MATLAB model. Okay, so let us see how to solve this problem. The solution is actually to use boxes. So you come to geometry, right click, and then here in the selection, there are a number of options. There are two, two options which says box selection or disk selection. So usually when you have um, objects with sharp corners, you can select box selection or when you have circles or other things, maybe you can select this selection. In this case, anyway, I, I'm going to select box selection. Okay, so there are a number of options here. From the level, I choose boundary. And here, include entity if, if it is inside the boundary, let's say inside this box. Now we have to give the, the limits of the box. So I want to create one box for the top electrode and one box for the lower electrode. Now I'm going to create the box for the top electrode. 
So if you look at this top electrode, I said every parameter is fixed apart except the, the width. So the height is 0.5, R is 0.2, and Z is 8. So if I want to make this uh, box properly, I would set R is equal to 0.2, but a little bit less than 0.2. Because I want to make a box that my boundaries, these boundaries of the top electrode are all inside this box. So from 0 0.2 minus a little bit till 0 0.2 plus R1, because the width of the top electrode is R1, plus a little bit. And then Z from 8 minus a little bit until 8 plus 0 0.5 that is the the height of that plus a little bit so now I have made a box which actually has all the boundaries inside it and here uh, what I have chosen is that everything that is inside the bo this box will be selected and we have chosen here boundaries so every boundaries that are inside this box would be selected would be selected here Okay, so now we'll create a second box. Selection box. So this one boundary, this one inside. 0 0.2 minus R2 here plus a little. And then this is three plus This 0 0.8 is actually the the width of the height of the lower box. Uh, okay, maybe just now the reason that I just make it slightly larger than the box is because sometimes your geometry is very complicated. You only want to select these boundaries. You don't want to go and select something else. Okay, so now we have made two boxes. The first box is uh, include all the include the top electrode and the second box includes the lower electrode so now I don't want to assign boundary number four five six eleven here but I want to assign box two here and here I want to assign box one so basically now this would be your base model and you have to actually save this one as m file and then from there you have to continue building your generalized model let us save it as M file and see what what we can get. So I name it as test one. Okay, so now if I open the this new file, we can see that this is the the previous um, parts. We created the the boundaries and then we assign the voltage and then we change the parameters we created the boxes and then we assign the boundaries um, these boxes to each of these conditions so we have to do a little bit of change so I don't need this part I delete it also so this is okay here I don't need this part I just copy it cut because I need some of it so I drag it down and basically here this selection I don't need and also this selection I don't need this one will come with the first one which is basically the which is here and then we have the second one which goes to for voltage and eventually we assign we assign voltage to the selection uh, to the box number one so basically everything is the same so here are the input parameters this we create the geometry and then we create the boxes and then we assign each box to to each to each boundaries um, okay so now if I run this model okay so I get a little bit of trouble so maybe I should change the name of this and then I probably can use console to connect to this
So in this case, you see that this is because we use the previous parameters. So the top one is 1.5, the lower one is 0 0.5. And if you can see, we, we assign voltage to the top electrode and ground to the lower electrode. So everything is good. So now I will change this parameter to 0 0.5. And this one, I make it 1. I rerun this model. I need to change the name. So if I run this model, if I go to console and connect to the server and load this model. So now you see that the top electrode is smaller, lower electrode is larger. And if you look at the boundary conditions, we see that ground is correctly applied to the lower electrode and voltage is correctly applied to the top electrode. So this is the, the way how you properly assign conditions to the boundaries in your MATLAB code. Bye.